hi guys welcome back to my channel i am filming a little mukbang get to know me we're gonna have a drink i have a shot to take having some wine which is probably not the best idea to mix but you know we're getting to know each other it's friday night i just got out of work so yeah anyway i got chipotle hopefully the camera doesn't keep shaking because i keep moving you guys are on the table and I'm on the table, <laughs> so hopefully I don't keep shaking too much, but I got a burrito bowl, and we're going to shake her up because it's easier to mix that way. I always get my sour cream on the side because I feel like they give me more, and I'm such a, like, I just like sour cream and like hot sauce mixed in together. It just is so freaking good. Let's take a shot, first of all, because it's my first, like, get to know me. I'm going to talk about myself so that way you guys get to know who I am and then yeah but if you have not yet subscribed please do hit that like button on this video please I would really appreciate it and turn on that bell notification so that this way every time I post a new video you guys get notified and I literally just cracked my elbow. <laughs> well there we go. Anyway we're taking a shot of Ciroc Green Apple. One of my friends turned me on to this. I'm more of like a tequila person, but I like the way that this tastes. I don't know if it's the green apple, the flavor, or what it is, but we're going to take a shot right now. So cheers to getting to know each other. It's like one of those shots that are, it's like a double shot. So, all right, let's do like half. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's not that bad. I do have a water here and I have some wine in my little wine glass. So I'm starving, first of all. It is 7.39 and I picked up my Chipotle. She looks like this, she looks so good. A little mukbang. I got some chips. I like learn how to do thumbnails. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then I got a little tortilla on the side because why not? We're carving it up. So, this is like my little cheat meal for today. So, yeah. I'm just gonna open that. I'm gonna take these chips. I always use the little tray thing. I got them in. A little overflowing. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna just take the sour cream, and I don't know if this is like a bay leaf or what that is, but obviously I'm not eating that. <laughs> and then I just like drowse my chipotle in sour cream. So like it's so freaking good while you're having it, but. I will my stomach will definitely be upset I'm pretty sure I'm like lactose intolerant because anything dairy irritates me so bad like I've been staying away from it like while I'm doing all my uh, healthy eating and stuff but for like my cheat meal I'm like I'm going to have sour cream or I'm gonna have dairy you know what I mean so just mixing and then I also use I am a hot sauce kind of gal I love hot sauce if my tongue is not burning off it is not hot enough so lately I mean usually I use tapatio if you know you know it's a, like a, a Mexican hot sauce it's so freaking good I love it so much um, but lately I just like discovered this sriracha and I'm obsessed. So we're gonna use that too. My friend just texted me. It's so funny because we're like holding each other accountable and we keep telling each other like every night that we've tracked and we've ate clean and like good. So today is like both of our like little treat, uh, cheat meals. So she was just telling me that she had hers and it was so good. I'm like, I'm about to have mine right now oh, i can't wait um so let me just add a little bit of this 
sriracha i'm about to open the whole thing i keep forgetting that like you have to twist the top of it hold on that's good i did add their hot sauce to it so i'm just gonna like drizzle some on it and i'll just add it throughout but the whole point of this video is that i kind of wanted to do a little like get to know me so that way you guys get to know a little bit more about me um it's i feel like we're like developing a new friendship which is amazing and you know i feel like you should know who you're watching you know know a little bit about me so i'm like tonight is like perfect a little like eat and talk you know what i mean um it's funny though because i feel like whenever i go out like i'm a very like social person i'll sit there and i'll talk i'll get to know people and things but i feel like i'm more so of, like a really good listener so to sit here and have the tables turn where it's like i have to like hold up the conversation mostly and there's no one physically right now coming back to me asking me questions too is a little bit i'm trying to adjust to it but i'm so excited uh yeah so <clears throat> let's start should we take the rest of the shot? I mean, why not, right? I'm such a shot girl. Cheers. Like, if we go out at night, I guarantee we're taking a shot. So that's just how I am. Uh, anyway, let's take a bite. How about that? I'm taking a chip. And I always like to put a little bit of chip broke of... You know some chipotle on it and take a bite mm -hmm. it's so good i need more sriracha though it's so funny okay so let's start off with my name um as you know my page is uh candelaria ashley but it's actually the other way around <laughs> my first name is ashley and candelaria is my middle name however i think that candelaria i mean not that ashley isn't but i feel like candelaria is just so pretty i literally use that for a nickname for everything so i'm like why not use that as part of my youtube so that is where that name comes from um i am 33 years old i am a gemini and i was originally born in baltimore maryland i grew up there i was raised there however right now i'm in new york um i came here when i was about 16 ish um due to like just like family things and i've been here ever since so yeah i still have family in maryland i go there during the holidays mostly for christmas because my how do you say that like is it in, intimate or like my like core family is there my sisters are there um so i go there and i see them my dad is there my mother is there also but we're currently not speaking <laughs> just you know family drama who doesn't have it right so I'm let me take another bite because your girl's hungry. I'm like I understand why it's like hard to talk and chew, obviously, because that's rude at the same time, but I'm starving. Mm. It's so good. I wish you guys could like see it. Okay, you guys can see it like that. So, yeah, that um, I have an older half brother on my mom's side. Um, we have the same mother, but we just don't share the same dad. And then comes me, and then I have two younger sisters. Uh, actually I actually have more than two younger sisters, but. The two younger sisters after me we share both parents so I have those two sisters 
And then on my father's side, he had two additional kids, which is my other sister and my other brother. So there is a bunch of us. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, when I go to Maryland, I see my, my two youngest sisters and my sister and my brother um, on my dad's side. So my youngest sister is the sister that I actually stay with, which you guys will eventually meet and I can't wait for you guys to meet her because she is like everything to me. Me and her, our energies just be off of each other. We legit have the best time, so I cannot wait for you guys to meet her. And then my middle sister who also lives in Maryland, literally everybody lives in Maryland. Um, she's the one with the kids. Like, I don't have any children. My youngest sister doesn't have any children. Like, nobody... Well, my older brother does have... Does he have... Yeah, he has a son. Um, but other than that, my middle sister is the one... We call her the mom. I'm like... I feel like I should have been the middle child. My youngest sister is, like, good where she is because she just fits that whole, like, little sister to a T. But my middle sister, I'm like, you should have definitely been the older sister because... I mean, it, she just like fits it more than I do. So, excuse me. I'm just gonna take another bite. Mm. My cheek, I'm dead. Yeah, so she fits like the older sister whole like kids, husband, house thing. So, I mean, we'll just say that she's the older sister. <laughs> but you'll eventually meet everybody, which I'm excited to, like, show you my world. I currently, I work out at Orange Theory, mostly. But I do, like, some, like, occasionally I, um, every Saturday go with one of the girls that I met through Orange Theory. We work out together at a regular gym which I'm vlogging also currently and in, in the vlog that you guys will see you guys will meet her she's such a sweetheart love her dearly dearly um but we like will go to a reg the regular gym and like work out together um so she her name is, is Jules so I love her dearly I love her so much I work for a computer company so my schedule right now is like Monday through Friday 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sometimes I get out um, a little bit earlier, which is nice. So usually Monday through Friday, I'm just like working. However, it's like a very mental, like straining job. And if you've ever been in the same situation, you know that like when you leave that kind of atmosphere, you're like mentally drained. So I feel like Monday through Friday, also when I work out, I get up super early so i get up at like 4 a.m to go to a 5 a.m class um three times a day three times a, a week so like i feel like monday through friday I really don't have time for that much um and i just feel like i don't know i don't know why like after 15 minutes my camera just decided to die so, i mean not die but stop recording i'm cheap so like monday through friday just it's all work and like working out basically and then saturday i'm taking it again it's fine saturday i usually have like prime get togethers and stuff like that but it's crazy to me because i feel like time is just flying by so fast to where like I'm just like what the heck are we doing you know what I mean it's crazy but I've been wanting to start YouTube for like ever literally when I tell you forever I have been procrastinating about starting YouTube for like 10 years it's maybe even more my one of my flaws is being a procrastinator but i feel like i'll which i'm trying to break so badly is 
I'll want to start something and I'll have everything planned and then I get distracted so freaking easily and then next thing you know especially because I think working in like an office shop it's very easily to where the, I always said this that like when you're there it feels like you're in a bubble and then everything around you is just like moving so you don't realize that like you put something on hold and next thing you know five years has passed and I'm just like over it I'm like I've been wanting to start this YouTube channel forever you know for myself and um I keep putting it off and I'm like why am I putting it off like that doesn't make sense at all so I just was like girl you gotta get your stuff together you know what I mean like we gotta get it together you need to do this you keep you keep wanting to do this which means it's like more like so like meant to be like this is the direction that you're supposed to be in because something keeps putting you back in that direction so I'm like I need to do it so here we are <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> it's so good. So, to the YouTube thing, why I wanted to start it is, I feel like before, when I was younger, I was finding myself, and I feel like right now I found myself, like, for the most part, I mean, there's, like, a lot more growing to do evolving to do but i feel like i'm like very secure in who i am and what i believe in and um there's a lot of like things that i still want to experience and i want to document it and i feel like youtube is a good platform to do that and develop like friendships and relationships with other people around the world and to learn through them you know there's a lot of people that i'm subscribed to that i watch their videos and i learn through them and since i'm like putting myself out there i feel like like you guys can like learn through me too you know or we can grow together so that's mainly like the hardcore reason why i wanted to start youtube so i'm like really excited about it So excited. I need a napkin. <laughs> I am so hungry, I really don't care. <laughs> um when I came to New York, I one of my closest friends uh that I met was like at my first job in um Queens, if you're familiar with New York. It's one of the boroughs. And we started working at the mall together and we've had our friendship forever and fortunately she moved to florida <laughs> but we still talk so you guys will be seeing that too when i go to visit her when she comes here you guys will meet her she has two kids zani and olivia and they're absolutely adorable um so yeah i but i have a really close circle also with my friends um uh, i've unfortunately had things happen to me in life where it's really hard for me to trust people and i think that also now too which shows that i'm like really secure with who i am is that i think i've come to a point in life where it's like if they don't want to be in my life then it's totally fine like i'm not upset about it like there's the door i see you goodbye i i don't want to say that i'm like closed off because i'm not because i feel like i'm very open like an open book and i show who i am and what i am excuse me but i'm not gonna like beat myself up if like somebody leaves my life you know what i mean because then it just means that they weren't meant to be in my life basically so i feel like that's why i also have a like a small circle because i just i don't know a lot of people have like just went in and out you know what i mean so most of the people that i truly like interact with are just like a handful of people and honestly i would rather that than more than anything in the whole world i rather that than that than 
having like 20 friends i'd rather have like two or three you know i'm not gonna lie this burrito like tortilla thing is hitting i'm half mexican and half caucasian my father is mexican and my mother is caucasian and it's so funny because on my mother's side they all have blonde hair and blue eyes and my dad's side obviously like not obviously but we're all like dark features um we have like you know brown eyes dark hair it's funny because like my dad's jeans are so freaking strong that although like i feel like when the sun hits my eyes like my eyes normally are more so towards like the medium brown to light brown because my eyes do get light it depends on my mood which is like crazy to think about um so they like fluctuate between like medium and light brown uh but yeah i'm like mom what happened and it's so funny because the same thing happened with my sister's kids because my my sister is with a caucasian guy and literally the kids just look just like her i'm just like they do have like the father's um like facial like, I, not expressions how do i say that like like you can see the father through them a little bit but like for the most part it's like all my sister i'm like dad like i need to know what's in these mexican jeans because we be taking over <laughs> um yeah so that's my background I'm making a little burrito this like tortilla be hidden better than the chips i like only i'll get to them <laughs> i wouldn't mind doing like a bunch of more mukbangs like let me go got, let me know if you guys are interested in that too But yeah, I am, um, I need more hot sauce. I would say also too, I have a mix of like intro and ex, how do you say that? Like, um, I have a mix of like, um, intro, like I'm introverted, but also extroverted at the same time. Also, you guys are going to learn, which I think I mentioned in my first video. The way that I pronounce words are just entertaining. And I don't do it on purpose. It's just my tongue gets tied so much that, like, I just pronounce things completely wrong. And I'm okay with that. So, I feel like I'm, like, I like to be home sometimes. But for the most part, I like to be out. Like, I like to be social. I like to do things. I like to keep... My problem is, is that... Not my problem is. Sorry. Um... My thing is, is that if I'm left alone, I tend to get stuck in my head a lot. And I tend to like overthink things and like make scenarios and like, like me being left with too much time is not good. <laughs> Let's just say that, like, excuse me. And I'm like, I feel like it kind of almost makes me go into like a dark place. So I like to be out, I like to be social, I like to see my friends, I like to be doing things, but at the same time there are moments where like, I'm not social, like, I just want to be home, I want to watch Netflix, I just want to relax, I want to chill, you know, not be bothered, um, so I feel like I have a good mix in that, but for the most part I do like to be out and like, experiencing things. I don't know y'all but that's a racha though it might have sold me away from tapatio no tapatio has my heart you're all right <laughs> but yeah I always panic when I'm put on the spot but I wanted to be like, we're so comfortable with each other 
that this starts to feel like really natural which I feel like it does because I feel like I've been vlogging for so long already that I just have to like put up the camera you know what I mean and whew, my tongue is on fire mission accomplished um to where like um I forgot what I was saying you see my mind is like all over the place I just got distracted by the food that's why Mm -hmm. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, I need a chip. Um, yeah, I got distracted by the food. Hor, hor. Let me know what kind of like videos you guys like to watch. Steak is so chewy. Not chewy, but. I feel like I'm chewing so much. If you hear a noise in the background, it's my dog. I can tell you guys that. Sorry. My dog, um, he's old again. I've had him since he was a puppy. Got him from a breeder. And he's been with me ever since. He's a pug, which you guys will meet. Um, but he's like older. He's going on 15 and he's just like at that age where it's just, I don't want to accept that he's like older, but I know, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but I have a dog currently and I also have a turtle. When I moved out of my aunt's house to the place where I'm staying at now, it's funny because my, my cousin's got turtles and they got turtles from the Dollar Tree. I don't even know if they paid a dollar for it, but the Dollar Tree apparently was selling turtles. And they were liter legit like this freaking big. So they bought like, I wanna say like five or six of them and they all died. Like they all died but one. So when I had moved out, I'm like, mm. I'm like, if I don't take this turtle, this turtle is just gonna, like, the turtle is gonna die, you know what I mean? So I'm like, no. So I literally took the turtle with me. And the turtle now, because they grow, I mean, I don't know if all turtles are like that, but like, my turtle grows with your tank. So he's like, because I got him a bigger tank. So he's like, he's a good size right now. And he just like chills out. And I thought about putting him in like, not the zoo, but like, you know, those places that like have like reptiles and things like that. And I've thought about putting him there, but like, I'm so scared because I'm like, he's only known what he's known. I'm like, he's not built for that life. If I put him there, like what happens if like all the other turtles start beefing with him? Like, I don't want that to be the, like his, the end of his life. I feel like he's going to like outlive me. Like he's going to be like the turtle that like just travels with my family as we all get older so like hopefully my nieces and nephews will eventually take him and just like they'll just have him and he'll just continue to leave, live forever i love animals i love all animals um i'm a very like emotional person when it comes to animals because i just i i love them you know what i mean like it's just a soft spot of mine So, I feel like I want to do more mouth bones. I feel like, I don't know. It's nice to like interact with you guys, you know what I mean? My favorite color is purple. 
um more so on like the lavender light purple side not like the dark purple um however when i was younger my favorite color was green yeah i loved green i used to play softball and now i'm not athletic at all throw me a ball i'm probably probably scared oh i'm actually doing the new york bike marathon next weekend so i'll see if i can like get some clips i'm thinking about if i should vlog but i'm going with my co-workers so but one of them knows that i'm like starting this whole youtube so maybe but yeah i'm starting to vlog i mean i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be doing the bike marathon which i to be honest, i'm not looking forward to i'm not even gonna lie because it's not anything that like i train for and you think like getting on the bike is easy no i did this bike marathon two years ago and let me tell you i had to icy hot my whole body after Mm hmm it's like 36 to 40 miles whatever it is I'll put it in the screen but I remember when we hit the halfway mark I didn't know this going in but when you hit the halfway mark the thing is, is that if you're not familiar with it, the New York Marathon, you, there's two. So you can run. There's one that, that's for one at running. And there's one for biking. So when you reach like the halfway point, when you're biking, I don't know how it is with running, but, but when you're biking it halfway, they let you get off your bike and you like walk a little bit. You, they have porta potties. You can use the the porta pot potty. Um, they have like refill, like snacks, water. Uh, yeah, so they have like music playing and, and everything. I didn't know that going in. So right before we hit that halfway mark, girl, let me just tell you, I was dying. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm like, I'm not going to make it. Like, I feel like my legs are going to fall off, you know? So when we hit that halfway mark, I was so freaking happy. Like, I was so ha I was like, thank you. Thank you. Somebody heard me. Because if it was, if they made me ride straight through, no. But like kids and everything like they do it and stuff i think it's like it's long i think it's like from 7 to like 5 p.m or whatever but i'm just my job basically um sponsored us to do it they did it last time and now they're doing it again they asked me and i'm like i don't even know if they actually asked me i think they just assumed because i did it last time that i would do it this time but Um, I'm doing it on Sunday and I'm not, I mean, it's a good experience and you feel so accomplished after, like, don't get me wrong, but it's one of those things that, whew, you think you're dying through it and you're not going to make it and it's just, oh, with the aftermath, I legit had to icy hot myself, my whole body, I'm not even kidding you. I came home because the thing is that we did it really early and then we ate after and I don't know if it's just that when I came home everything hit me at once but I just remember laying in bed and I was just like what is this pain how do I get rid of it <laughs> ASAP and I literally took a icy hot stick and I was just like going to town and I passed out because I was exhausted. I mean, it's a lot on your body for like so many hours. 
so I was exhausted. I literally passed out and thankfully like the next day it was good. So hopefully it goes like the same way, just minus the whole pain. <laughs> just minus the whole pain and then we'll be good. But yeah, I want to take, what time is it? It's 8.17. Should we do one more shot? Let's do a half a shot together. And I just want to say that I hope that you guys like this video. You guys got to know a little bit about me. Um, you know, just a few little fun facts about me. And we'll get to know each other more as we go on. I'm ex so excited about this. I Let's eat one last chip. How about that? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. As I chew, should we have another piece? I'm gonna have a nice another piece of steak too. Um I'm so excited. I wanna do more mukbangs. I'm thinking like maybe like when I actually go pick up the food maybe in like my car or something if you guys are interested in that let me know but I wanted to do this like quick like fun facts about me so that way you guys get to know me and I want to say that if you guys made it all the way to the end leave a comment below I want to know a fun fact about you because I feel like it should go both ways it's not all about me like I want it to be about us together as a community and I want to know about you guys too so as we close out this video we're gonna cheers to this new friendship and our new journey together because you know whatever you guys are going through too I want to know so cheers to us and accomplishing everything that our heart desires it might not happen today but it will happen tomorrow or the next day and the next day and we're here to support each other so cheers to us Mwah. so whew. thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed this again if you guys haven't subscribed please do hit that bell notification so that way you guys get notified every time i post a video and stay tuned for more videos because i have a lot planned and i'm super excited about it and i cannot wait for us to just you know build a bond so mwah, i will talk to you guys soon